Fiorella, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I will be following a Manny MUA's uh, makeup tutorial. Now these videos have been going around everywhere, literally everybody's doing it, and I thought it would be so, so, so much fun to do it in my channel as well. So let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so the video from Manny that I chose was his bold and easy cut crease makeup tutorial. And obviously it's not going to turn out like his. He's literally a professional and he's so amazing, but I hope it doesn't look like that bad. Hey guys. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so I love his giggle. It's so cute. I literally love it. Going on right now. I posted a photo mm -hmm. on my Instagram a while back. And it's this so cute. I right saw here. it. Yes. And it got so, sexy. so much love on it. You just never know mm -hmm. if your makeup's going to be like... Mm -hmm. Like, that's true that's you know, so true so yeah as always if you guys like this video if you guys do not like don't me, fucking please don't watch, fucking it. watch it first things first we're gonna go in with the shade all uh, right and a little bit so, of and ochre and i'm just gonna literally two. dab into both of them dab into both Tab. of them and we're gonna do a very light amount of this i'm gonna put that into the crease with a morphe e27 a fluffy brush will work best okay. for this and we're gonna really try to avoid this is my fluffy at all costs so i'm gonna try to just use the crease or put this on the crease keeping your eyes open like you can see color there make sure you're mm -hmm. focusing all the color on the top of your crease or in your crease if you have a better crease than me because i have like all this little extra skin here oh me too above my this. crease then you're good but if you don't if you have like hooded lids like me or just a little extra skin like me not down there then you should be good these <laughs> shadows blend so well oh i love them i love i love this palette so much and i use these Ross colors Sienna. a lot that's why i'm literally hitting pan on the outer corner and then go a little bit lower than what we have the first original shades down first so we're gonna put that in the outer corner into the crease about halfway into the crease let me just go ahead and get another brush all right so i'm gonna go ahead and grab this one and this one is from morphe <laughs> i don't know what number though because it doesn't stay but i'm gonna go ahead and mix i believe he said raw sienna and red ochre so let me just go ahead and mix those two together and so let's let's watch a little bit and into the crease and a little bit in here just a little nugget and then blend all right so he basically said to put it like right in the outer portion of the eye just to make sure we get some nice smooth transition so as you can see there's like layering of colors it's a little bit darker it's a little deeper on this side you can see there's more dimension okay cool so now that we have those colors deposited as you okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye i think mine is turning a little bit more like redder i feel like i'm using maybe too much of the red or oh o the ochre the red ochre there we go i feel like i'm using a little bit too much of that color blemish color fuchsia Venetian with cypress red. umber which is a really really dark deep brown so and both of them. The most so this of one eye. and then we're gonna take that with the Morphe E36, and this is going to just really pack on that color as well as place it exactly where I want it to be placed, lower than the last shades. See right there? It looks deep as shit. <laughs> Deeper than the fucking <laughs> ocean. ocean. And now we're take. Okay, so he basically is just putting that right, just like right here. Literally, he makes me feel so insecure when I do makeup. Like, I don't think my makeup skills are that bad, but when I watch him, man. And blend that out slightly. Okay, cool. So now for the fun slash a little bit harder aspect of this look. It's not hard. I promise you. It's not hard as long as you're like really just concentrating, focusing. It's not going to be hard. But this is the part that is like the main part of this look. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to take a concealer. Any concealer works great. So synthetic and flat. Like it's halo flat like my fucking chest. Okay, so I'm basically grabbing a flat brush and I'm cutting out the crease. So I'm actually going to use this one over here. And the concealer I'm using is the Ellie Girl Pro Concealer. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that brush and we're going to start. I'm going to actually kind of pull my eye taut a little bit. We're going to start at the beginning of our eye. And deposit the concealer right on our lid. And I'm not doing some crazy like one stroke or like no. And we're going to go ahead and cut out. Or we're just going to start carving out the crease. Okay, so I just went ahead and paused the video. Um, I'm going to try to do this and see how it goes. Okay, so I'm done with the cut crease. It literally looks not as good as I wanted it to be, but whatever. It, it looks fine, okay? It's not like the worst I've ever done, so I'm going to keep it like this. So now we're going to grab a packing brush. I'm going to take the shade Tempura, which is a very nice matte white shade. I'm going to go over the concealer. I'm you just going to go ahead and do it with my bit, finger, actually. Fine, but what you want to do is you want to set it before it can even crease. And this is on a Morphe M210. It's a nice just 
compact hacking brush, but it's also very small and precise, which I love it for. I'm going to grab another kind of brush. Whatever brush you want to use is fine. Any of the previous brushes is great as well, but I'm going to take this Morphe E17. I'm going to grab the shade for there orange, red ochre, raw sienna, just any color you guys want to use is totally fine because it's just this is going to be the blend between the harsh darkness out here and the white. So I'm going to grab this and I'm literally just going to press over. Okay, I'm gonna, do, to blend, I'm gonna like, do. I'm gonna do raw sienna and red and ochre. Like he said, it doesn't really matter. Right up to that line. So, let me see. And blend out that line up here a little bit more. As I was saying, this does not have to be super super neat. It does not have to be super intense. Literally, this is just like an easy fade. Think of it as like a fade, like a hair fade, fading like when you're drunk and you're about to pass out fade like that. So this is what <laughs> so look like. funny. And this is your eye look. This is what you should have right now. Half cut crease or two thirds yes. cut crease. I don't even know what I would call this look actually. Mm -hmm. This is a fucking look, man. This is a fucking look. look. So we're going to take the shades. Let's see. Burnt orange and raw thing. Yeah, not. Burnt I'm gonna orange that the and lash line. lost the end. Liberally. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use this brush. This is the brush that I usually use, or this type of brush is what I use for like my lower lash line. So let's just go ahead and do that. So he said raw sienna and burnt orange. And he's going to put it all underneath his This part, you don't need to be lower neat lash line. I'm going to run it. Yep. Underneath the eye. I'm going to take a little bit of that red ochre and Venetian red, and we're going to go a little bit. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, let me just go ahead and do this part. Red ochre and Venetian right, red. So yes. on here. E43 and a little bit of cypress umber, and that's going to go closest to the lashes on the outer corner only. I'm just going to pack it on there. Now you can take any cream or white eyeliner. I'm going to take the ColourPop okay. white eyeliner. Fuck, my shit is so broken. I'm hoping I can even use some of this. Okay, so for the white eyeliner, I'm actually not going to... I'm not going to do that because I don't have it. We're going to do the eyebrow. I mean, not the eyebrows. The eyeliner. Okay, so the way he does this is literally insane because it looks so easy, but it is so fucking not. So I'm going to use the tattoo liner by Kat Von D. I'm actually going to be doing the eyeliner off of camera just because I literally have to concentrate so bad so I don't do it wrong. So I'll be right back with you guys as soon as I get this done and Pray for me that I don't mess up. All right, you guys, so I am back with my eyeliner. I don't think it looks that bad because I have not worn eyeliner in I don't know how long, but it, you know, it's okay. It's it's fine. It's not that bad. So, it, yeah. Connect. Yeah, connect, right? It's so easy. I literally did that and it did not look like that. I'm going to go ahead and pop up my eyelashes then on and see how it looks afterwards. So my lashes are all done and I also put on some lipstick but I'll let you guys know what it is that I used after we're done watching the video. He put right gold now, glitter. Right um, I have is this NYX like not gold glitter, glitter so this glitter is what I'm going to use to so replace. So we're just going to put a little bit in our part of my eye. Okay. Just add a little bit of sparkle. And this is the final look, guys. This is what it turned out to be. Yes! Work it. That's it for the entire cut crease look. Two-thirds of that way cut crease. I don't know what the bug I'm going to call this. Hopefully you guys thought it was easy as well to follow along. I know It I'm was pretty hard. easy, honestly. I just, I'm not as talented as him, so it might not look exactly like, like this. All right, you guys, so that was it for his video. Now, my makeup does not look that bad, in my opinion. Like, obviously, it's not going to look just like his because it's not done by Manny. But I'm pretty happy about how it looks. It looks really cute. And it's definitely something that I would wear when I go out. Like right now, I'm about to go out. And I am super happy with how this turned out. And oh, before I forget, so the shade of lip that I have is this one by Milani. And it is number 61 in matte naked. And also the lashes that I used are from Kiss. And they're called Flirty. All right, you guys. So that was it for this video. If you liked it, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already anyways you guys I know I've been totally MIA on YouTube lately and there's so many things that have been going on in my life that have happened and honestly it's just it's really personal so I can't just go ahead and blurt it out on here but definitely know I will continue to make a more and more videos I love you guys so so much and I'll see you next time Mwah. bye